Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around, well, whenever it resonates, you know, the timing is fluid, so these could resonate at any given time, and they may or not be, may or may not be for you, so keep that in mind. This reading may not be for you. Sometimes these readings are, don't play out for me at all. Sometimes they play out a week later, so keep that in mind. Uh, I know a lot of you saw the live that I did last night. If you got to catch it, it was pretty hilarious. When I rewatched it after it was over, um, it was definitely hilarious. Um, so if you got to watch it, you got to see my butt. Ha! Not very many people get to see that. Well, a lot of people, well, we're not going to get into it. But anyhow, um, it's now off, okay? I made it private. So if you didn't get to see it, then maybe next time. But anyway, thanks for watching. Um, so yeah, what do we have for a message today for an upcoming energy? What do we have for a message? What's coming in? Keep in mind the timing is fluid. Ten of Pentacles I just saw, which is financial success. Comfortable, stable, solid, secure, abundance, something permanent, permanently, uh, permanently successful. Some sort of permanent opportunity that leads to financial success or, I mean, this is an energy. So Ten of Pentacles is financial success seeing a i don't know if it's an uptick or something like that very comfortable maybe somebody's getting some money or something or a good job eight of swords you got somebody here who's trapped okay this is trapped by fear held back by fear um, they're in a situation that they can escape from, but they're not. This is somebody that is staying put in a situation where there's a lot of uh, mental turmoil. And there's an opportunity. This person can walk away. They're, they're, they, their feet are not tied. There's a way to escape, but they're choosing not to. So somebody is in a place of mental turmoil at the moment. Refusing to uh, make a move. It doesn't look like it's very comfortable. It's not a comfortable position to be in. Five of Swords. Five of Swords is walking away. There's some sort of betrayal here. We have an individual that is very mean this person is mean they they've uh, hurt somebody they've hurt somebody really really bad this person that's trapped there's definitely a conflict there's a power struggle here we have one individual that is very controlling <clears throat> doesn't care who they hurt one person has already decided to leave is looking for uh, something better can't take it anymore obviously one person has already decided to uh, walk away this person is very mean-spirited We have like a hostile, it's like a hostage situation. But there's a means to escape. Four of Swords reversed. You know, whenever I see the Four of Swords, I think of a, I think of a death, okay? I mean, that's what it looks like to me. And I don't go by the book, and I'm never going to. Uh, this is the death of a situation. I think we have somebody here that is mentally, uh, there's a lot of mental here. I'm not sure if they're mentally ill. 
Um, we could have somebody here that is definitely struggling mentally, absolutely, all sorts. So this is very mental. There's mental abuse. There is some sort of mental abuse here. Somebody needs to walk away from an abusive situation, but they don't really have the capability, the mental capability. They do, they just don't know that they do. Because they've been belittled, they've been controlled, they've been... Uh, it's almost like we have a narcissist here, honestly, with this Five of Swords. This person is very mean. He's got three swords in his hand, so that's pain, that's, that's hurt, that's heartache, that's pain. He's caused somebody a lot of pain. Um, taking some, taking their, it's almost like taking their self-esteem away. Four of Swords reverse. This is extremely exhausted and fed up. So yeah, we have an individual that is just tired, 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 tired. There's a lot of thoughts going on, a lot of mental turmoil about a situation, about whether to walk away or to stay in this struggle, this power struggle, this conflict. Somebody is definitely uh, at a point where they're suffering. They are suffering. Um, they probably don't know their value because the person has belittled them so much, you know, has told them that they can't do this, they can't do that, they'll never be able to do it on their own. You know, this is somebody that says a lot of things to keep a person down. But we have somebody here that is extremely tired, exhausted, and fed up. It's, they've, it feels like they've reached the end of the road. They've reached the end of the rope, you know. They want to go. They're still in the situation. They're still giving their power and their control over to the person that is uh, hurting them with that five of swords. They're still there. They haven't completely walked away. Nine of Pentacles on the bottom. Nine of Pentacles is independence, okay? It's independent success. Next card is Ten of Pentacles. I saw the Ten of Pentacles. So independence leads to financial success, leads to a happy home, leads to comfort. And we have somebody here that's not in a comfortable situation. And they are thinking a lot because swords are thinking. There's an opportunity for stability here. This is somebody that is very self-sufficient, capable, um, successful, hardworking, abundant. The time is ripe. Okay, you see the ripe, the ripe fruit. That means the time is ripe. The time is ripe. Um, there's an opportunity for abundance here, but it's independent abundance. This is this is a card of strength. Okay, somebody needs to find their inner strength and value. The nine of coins is about self-value, okay? So we have somebody here that needs to um, it feels like become independent and they're thinking about their independence. And we could have somebody here that is independent, that is thinking about a partnership, but I, I really feel like we have somebody there here that is exhausted and fed up with some sort of situation that they are in. Whether they are independent or they are partnered, this is like, I am so sick of it. I am just sick of this whole situation. Um, there's some sort of betrayal here with that Five of Swords. It is. There's some sort of, and it's not, there's fighting, there's conflict, there's power struggles, there's hostilities. We got one person here that wants to win at all costs. This person doesn't, will not budge. And they've made a person feel like they can't escape, like they can't make it without them. Or if we, if we, if we, this is an independent person here that doesn't have another person, it could be a parent that has done this in the past. But if it is an independent person, we have an independent person that is very capable of success. They need to get out of their head. They need to step out of their comfort zone. If they're exhausted and fed up with their financial situation, they have the skills to do their own thing, but their own mental conflict, their own mental turmoil is holding them back. So this could be a job situation. We have somebody here that is in a situation where there's a lot of hostilities, there's a lot of conflict. It's like a battle zone. It really is. 
There is an opportunity to walk away and become independently successful. There, there, there's somebody, we have somebody here that is skilled enough to do so with that nine of pentacles. They're very capable, but they're going to have to step outside of their head. Okay. They got their head is, uh, keeping them stuck. Okay. Ten of Swords reversed. This is a death of something. This is, I mean, the Ten of Swords reversed is extreme suffering. Extremes and reversed. You know, this is, uh, the worst has happened, right? This is things getting worse. Things getting worse. Um, extremely painful. This is a death of a situ. It's a death. Of a, and death is the end of us. It is. Ten of Swords is the end. This is the end. May or may not survive. May or may not survive. This is the end of a painful situation where there has been a, somebody has been beat. They have been beat down. They have been. Uh, oh my God, that's terrible. It is stabbed, stabbed. It's really stabbed, really. Uh, got themselves into a situation that they never should have got themselves into by the looks of things anyhow the ten of swords this is this is this is a painful ending it is painful this is sad i i mean it is very very sad okay i had to put it up to be able to get my face out of there it is this is a painful ending of some sort right i mean the ten of swords this is uh beyond help it's too late it's too late it's too late it, something it's too late to you better get out of there before it's too late i mean get out of there before it's too late it may not be too late yet because it's ten of swords in reverse you know, somebody is in a, I feel like it's a dangerous situation with a five of swords. These are all swords. So, we have somebody here that has been suffering. This is the, su suffering is going to come to an end. It needs to come to an end. Hmm. Beat, beat down by an individual who is heartless. Three of coins, three of coins is togetherness, teamwork, working together, learning new skills. Somebody needs to walk away and head towards another opportunity where they will be respected, where there will be some sort of, where they can work together with other people. We have somebody here that does have skills. They have the skills. They do. Three, three pentacles about skills. We have somebody here that has the skills to work together or work for another person, you know, or to even work for themselves. Maybe be a subcontractor or something because that's what this looks like, you know, if this is a work situation. We have somebody here that has some sort of skill set, okay? But they need to find their mental strength to walk away from this situation that is mentally exhausting them. It's just mental exhaustion. It absolutely is. There is an opportunity to uh, have respect and to use your skills someplace else. Put it that way. Um, on the bottom of the deck now, we have the Ace of Cups, which is sadness, okay? It's tears. It's emotional turmoil. It is emotional loss. It is emotional shutdown. It is tears. It's tears. It's sad. Um, letting an opportunity of love, for love, that you would love slip away. 
but there is his emotion. There's some sort of sadness here. I'm not sure if we have somebody that is very, very sick. They're very, very ill and they may or may not survive. And I hate to give that message. I really, really do. Um, these could be tears because I had that, I'm not sure what is going on, but we have somebody here that is in a very, they're not in a good mental state, put it that way, and they need help, and they need help. Maybe that's what the, that's exactly what it is. They need help out of this situation, and I feel like this per, but I feel like this person is very non-communicative, you know, because they believe that they're not good enough. They believe that, Whoever this person is that belittled them has made them believe that they, they aren't good enough. Anyhow, um, I feel like we have a death of a situation here. Mm. Five of Pentacles reverse. This is abandonment, uh, ghosting, uh, the end of the end of a struggle. Somebody has been struggling. They have a victim mentality because somebody, you know, whatever some this person did caused them to be a victim. But this is a victim mentality. The Eight of Swords is a victim mentality as well. I just got to be honest with you. There's always there's help. Okay, this is help. Somebody needs help. <clears throat> and there's something to do with money here somebody is maybe in a situation because they don't have the money there's some there, there could be some serious financial problems financial troubles um somebody needs help oh there's the three of swords heartbreaking heart this is heartbreaking this is this is heartbreak it's heart pain it's um a separation and a loss it's, it is somebody is is experiencing some heartache right now and they are in a not in a good mental state and they may not care who they hurt because of their own heartache you know just saying um Five of Pentacles reverse could be total, total ruin, financial hardship, needs help. Somebody needs help before it's too late. But I think it is too late. Oh, God, I don't know if it is or not. Three of Swords. This is a separation. It is. This is stabbed right in the heart. And we saw that with the Ten of Swords as well. This is heartbreaking. Heart pain hurt really 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 badly somebody's heart is breaking i don't like to give these kinds of messages but i got to um we have somebody here that looks angry as well they look angry they're they're angry because they have been hurt so badly There could be a team that is coming in because the three of uh, pentacles can be a team that is that is coming in. Uh, I wonder if somebody is going to tell, you know, and, and help is going to arrive. Page of swords reversed. Ha! <laughs> That is your tattletale, page of swords reversed. Oh my God, that is a tattletale. I said it before I saw the card. This is a tattletale, you know, or and I, I'm saying tattletale, but sometimes you need to have a tattletale. Anyhow, this is this is um, definitely not in a good mental state. We have somebody here that um, There's a message that is coming that they're good. This person is going to be saying something. They're going to be saying something. Okay. I feel like there's a, there's somebody's going to be receiving a message. It's not good news. Just saying, it's not good news. It's bad news. <laughs> it is bad news. It's heartbreaking.
Well, I do feel like we have a, we have a conflict here that is coming to an end. Somebody is going to be broken free from a situation that they have been in where, and, and they may be breaking themselves free. Hopefully it's not in a bad way. And we got that other five. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for the other five because I was five, five, five. Now I got the three fives. That's exactly, I was just going to say, I was thinking to myself, where's the other five? Here it is. There it is. The five of cups grieving over a loss. Expect the unexpected. Life is about to change. There's going to be a massive change here. It's a change for the better, but it comes with conflict because 555 is conflict. It's change. It's actually positive change, but it's not easy change. So there's going to be a change. This is grieving over a loss. There's a better opportunity, and we have somebody here that has been mentally stuck, okay? They've let their they've let their the person that um, controlled them control their thoughts to a point where they uh, couldn't break out of them thinking that they could escape. You know, they, this person really belittled them a lot and, and abandoned them and neglected them and didn't take care of them with the five of pentacles. And, but now I feel like we have somebody here that is going to be headed towards, um, something new with that three of pentacles this is a new opportunity they're going to could be collaborating or working with somebody else that respects them there's some sort of respect that is coming for walking away anyhow i do believe we have somebody here that is headed towards a new opportunity where they can use their skills because whoever they were dealing with didn't allow them to use their skills because this person was so controlling, you know. Five of Cups grieving. That's that's uh crying over a loss. There's a loss here. There is loss. A separation, a loss missing an opportunity somebody has been missing an opportunity for a partnership where there is love crying over something where they were uh stuck really 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 stuck i feel like there's there's some sort of um tears that are being shed or sadness or something like that over um uh, A change that is needed because of that all these fives we definitely have a serious power struggle here over who's who's better who's the boss you know I'm not good enough or something like that or you're not good enough then that's exactly what it is somebody's like oh you're not good enough nobody's gonna want you you're not good enough you don't have any skills bullshit We have somebody here that has been stuck in a in a place of mental turmoil because another person made them feel like they could not do any better. When there is a better opportunity right here. You wanna see what's on the bottom? The Empress. The Empress is love. And abundance an abundance of love this is the birth of a new life but you know the Empress doesn't give birth without pain and that's where the pain come from the pain comes from so we got somebody here that has to experience the pain of the separation whatever it is and there is a separation here to have the abundance of love that they deserve the Empress she does everything with love um, unconditional love it's time it's time but it doesn't you don't get the blessing you don't get the abundance you don't get the miracle without experiencing the pain so somebody has to experience some sort of painful release to get the unconditional love that they deserve. So I feel like this day ends with some sort of love. 
but I feel like before it ends, there, there's something to do with um, creating, a creator or something like that, creator, creating a new life. We have an empress here who's just sitting pretty. She's just sitting back. She's sitting back. She's just relaxing. Uh, she's glowing. She's beautiful. Um, very valuable. It's harvest. It's time. It's definitely, definitely time. It's time. It's time to have all the good things. It's time. So anyway, I do believe that there is going to be a lot of struggling obviously o over breaking free from some sort of mindset that you don't deserve to be treated with respect okay or that you don't you know that you have to stay in a dead-end situation you know there either, we have somebody here that is very capable and they deserve to be loved and there's love obviously right here so anyhow this is the birth of a new life this is creating a new life this is a birth it is it is but it comes after a painful release so i feel like this day is going to be it's almost like bittersweet Queen of Cups reverse. That's the other person. That is the other person. That is somebody that is uh, emotionally unavailable. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Taurus, Libra right here with the Empress. Um, we have some, it does, this doesn't have to be, but this represents a water sign, but does it could be anybody? This is somebody that is emotionally unavailable, that doesn't give love freely, only with conditions. Not this one. Emotional withdrawal. There is going to be some sadness here. This is heartbreaking as well. I do believe that, there, that we have somebody that is in probably in an unrequited love situation with a person that is with them just because they have control over them. I feel like this, this is coming to an end and I feel like it's sad. I do feel like it's sad. We do have the death of a situation and I feel like we have the birth of a new life. And so I feel like this day is going to be about walking away or uh yeah that's what it looks like to me um maybe even getting together with the team you know to plan things maybe maybe i don't know signing a new contract looking i don't know um yeah because there's paperwork here good luck